Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. Join me as I travel the country, learning the tips, tricks, and stories behind the recipes and home cooks that make up the world's number one food site, allrecipes.com. This week, we're in Duluth, Minnesota, a bustling town on the shores of Lake Superior. Duluth is famous for its aerial lift bridge, still in use today over 100 years after it was built. More importantly though, Duluth is also home to All Recipes Cook Monica. There's so much to do. We go sailing, um, kayaking, we go up the North Shore and go camping. It's kind of like living in a vacation spot. Something tells me this beach wouldn't be quite so inviting in the middle of a cold Midwest winter, but I'm just glad we lucked out and got a nice sunny day to explore the town and enjoy some good food. This is what's cooking. On our way back to Monica's, we passed by the Bayfront Blues Festival. Of course, we had to stop and check it out. I mean, where else can you sit by a giant lake and watch freighters roll in and out while you're listening to, you know, some of the best, best music. blues? Once inside, we were greeted by the officially appointed sheriff and mayor of the Blues Festival. They were hard to miss, what with the giant chair and all. Just to give you a perspective. <laughs> a normal chair. You want to be? A, you want a picture inside the chair? Hey, you can sit in this chair with them. It's yeah, rated it's for 500 pounds. <laughs> I'm coming in. Raise your hands and repeat after the sheriff. I. State your name. State your name. Very good. Um, hereby authorizing you and deputizing you to be associate deputies at the Bayfront Blues. You can each pick your own name. I'm, I'm Mad Cow. Mad Cow. All right. And Monica, do you have a nickname? I don't. How Deputy Don't and Deputy, Deputy Mad, Mad Cow. Cow. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I now make you deputies. Thank you. Thank you. What an honor. Hey, we're here in Duluth, Minnesota with Monica, a.k.a. Deputy Don't is Kristen Dunn with the Baytown Blues Festival. We're going to be making her uh, chicken rolls today and after walking around out on the water down there in the muggy oppressive heat, looking forward to some good vittles. So why don't you tell me and t tell all recipes why we're making this recipe. Okay, this is a recipe of my grandmother's and she used to make it for us every Sunday night for dinner. So pass it off from your grandma to your mom. To your... Oh, definitely. All right, let's get started. Okay, great. Here I have three ounces of cream cheese and two tablespoons of butter, both softened. And we're just going to take our spatula here and get these incorporated into one another. Now one of the stories you were telling me earlier was pretty funny about uh, your grandma adding food coloring to food so that they were all colorful. Yes. There's a particular one tied to this recipe. She did. Um, she used to add uh, yellow food coloring to her chicken gravy in order for it to make <laughs> look more like chicken gravy. And uh, one time she ended up adding in red food coloring on accident and it turned out we had pink gravy. <laughs> but she had a great sense of humor and ended up making it that way from then on and it was a good sort of family joke. Now we've got here um, a cup of shredded chicken, it's about one chicken breast. This is a great recipe to do uh, after the holidays if you've got leftover turkey. Next, add in the chopped chives and lemon pepper seasoning. Then get out a package of refrigerated crescent rolls and lay them all out. So we're just going to spoon in some on the wide end of the roll, and then we're just going to stretch this over, roll these up, and it's important to make sure that we get the end sealed just like that, so we don't have any of our filling leaking. Next, we'll start working on the crunchy crouton coating. Say that three times fast. Crunchy crouton coating, crunchy crouton. First, coat the rolls in melted butter, then roll them in crushed croutons until they're coated evenly. Did your husband do the croutons? He did. So it right gives him something to do while he's watching football. <laughs> Is he really looking that hard for something to do while he's watching football? <laughs> no, but I am, I guess. Oh, all right. Honey, okay. crush the croutons. Place them on a cookie sheet and they're ready to go in the oven. Well, that's not the end of this recipe. You've got some gravy that you normally serve this way. Yes, um, just a traditional chicken gravy, so let's get started on that. To make the gravy, melt some butter in a saucepan and then add the chopped onions. Finally adding in some white wine. And we just want to get this cooking and reducing. Once the white wine has been reduced, add in a cup of chicken stock, again allowing it to reduce down by about half. Oh, our gravy has reduced by about half, okay. so we're ready to put the final touch. All right. The final touch. The final touch. The final... Okay, sorry. 80s rock. Yeah, right. calm down. 
so what we're gonna do here is put about, and this is my rough measuring, but about two tablespoons okay. of cornstarch into just some of our chicken broth. And it was my grandmother's secret to use cornstarch because it gives the gravy a really silky, smooth okay. texture. No lumps. Just add the mixture into the pan and it should thicken right up. Then just finish it off with some salt and pepper to taste. I love pepper, so you can just give it the business there. Once the rolls are a nice golden brown, they're ready to serve. So now normally you were saying earlier you'd serve this with a salad. Absolutely. Anything you like to drink with this? Oh, yeah. We're gonna be making a strawberry gin cocktail, which is perfect for a hot day like today. To start, just add the strawberries to your shaker, along with some fresh basil. Not typically a cocktail ingredient. No. Today, it is. So we're just gonna give these a tear, pour them right into our cocktail shaker. Then add the gin, lemon juice, and some sugar, and shake it all up. And we are going to top these off with some soda water and we're all done. All right, so we've got our chicken rolls all finished. Okay. On goes the gravy. Booyah, that's good. Did you just say booyah? I did say booyah. <laughs> nice. They're so easy to make. I would go and make these again. Mm -hmm. I throw in some jalapenos, mm -hmm. some pepper jack cheese, but those are, oh, they melt in your mouth. Those Absolutely. Are so good. Mm -hmm. I'll them. Well, we should probably get in before it starts raining too hard or you or I get struck by lightning, but thank you, Deputy Don't. Thank you, Deputy Macau. It's another week, another kitchen. Join us again next week for another episode of What's Cooking. Wishing that I'll soon be headed to your kitchen.